Making it into the NFL alone takes some serious skill, but it's a whole other level of talent for those key players leading their team into a Super Bowl. But the biggest game in the sport isn't the only indication of those players who go down as football legends. That is why we are breaking down the top 10 greatest NFL players that never won a Super Bowl. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now let's get into it. Number 10. Philip Rivers, Quarterback Rivers is one of the players on our list still active, so it's hard to say whether he'd always be included here. Drafted back in 2004, Philip Rivers hasn't gotten a ring yet, but if he did, there is no doubt discussion about his Hall of Fame potential would have a simple conclusion. He'd be in. The longtime San Diego Los Angeles Chargers quarterback ended 2019 ranked sixth all time in both passing yards at 59,271 and touchdowns at 397. He boasts the 12th best approximate value in NFL history according to Pro Football Reference. But through his most recent year, Rivers has earned just a single trip to the AFC Championship and six playoff chances. In another dimension, Rivers is probably a three-time champion and a surefire Hall of Famer. Even in that dimension, there is no doubt each Super Bowl was a one-score game in the closing minutes. Number 9. Warren Moon – Quarterback In the Canadian Football League, Warren Moon was a five-time champion. He is considered one of their greatest players of all time, which is why he had to be included in this list. He propelled the Edmonton Eskimos to five straight Grey Cup victories from 1978 to 1982 before heading to the NFL. The strong arm quarterback quickly became one of the most prolific passers in the league. Moon topped 3,000 yards six times with the Houston Oilers, twice with the Minnesota Vikings, and once on the Seattle Seahawks. At that point in NFL history, only John Elway and Dan Marino had more than 3,000 yard seasons than his nine. Moon totaled 49,325 yards and 291 touchdowns as a passer, then ranked third and fourth respectively, but never advanced past the divisional round in seven postseason trips. Number 8. Fran Tarkenton, Quarterback While Fran Tarkenton may not be a household name, he certainly carries a heavy presence in the record books. Drafted back in 1961, Tarkenton spent the first six seasons of his NFL career helping the newly created Minnesota Vikings find a footing in the NFL. As a member of the New York Giants for five seasons, he then posted three of the franchise's only four .500-plus records over a 14-year stretch. Tarkenton finally escaped mediocrity late in his career. After returning to Minnesota, he earned league MVP honors in 1975 and guided the Vikings to six division titles and three Super Bowl appearances. In those games, they fell to the Miami Dolphins, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Oakland Raiders. Tarkenton ended his career with then-NFL records of 47,003 passing yards and 342 touchdowns. Plus, his 3,674 rushing yards were the most by a quarterback. Number 7. Alan Page – Defensive Tackle You may have already noticed, but Alan Page is the first player on our list outside of the quarterback. And while defensive tackle isn't the most glamorized position in the game, Page certainly made his mark. In 1967, Alan Page arrived in Minnesota just as Fran Tarkenton left, and he played a central role in the Purple People Eaters defensive line. The unit included future Hall of Famers in Page and Carl Eller as well as multi-time Pro Bowlers in Jim Marshall and Gary Larson. During a 12-year stretch from his rookie season through 1978, the Vikings won 10 division titles and reached four Super Bowls. Along with the losses in Tarkenton's second stint, he was a member of the 1969 squad that fell to the Kansas City Chiefs. Page, though, was an absolute force. The league MVP in 1971, he gathered all-pro recognition six times and made nine Pro Bowl trips. Page appeared in 237 games and amassed 148 and a half sacks with 23 fumble recoveries and 28 block kicks. Number 6. Bruce Matthews, Offensive Tackle A first-round pick of the Houston Oilers in the 1983 draft that included John Elway and Dan Marino, Bruce Matthews spent 19 seasons in the league and barely missed a game. Of 303 possible appearances, Matthews notched 296 and started 293. Though he mostly lined up at guard and center, he played every position on the offensive line and still garnered seven All-Pro honors and 14 Pro Bowls with the franchise, now known as the Tennessee Titans. Despite his longevity in a Hall of Fame career, Matthews advanced to the AFC Championship or Super Bowl only in 1999. That season famously ended one yard short against the St. Louis Rams. When he finally retired in 2001, Matthews had played in more NFL games than any position player in NFL history. 
Matthews was extremely versatile as he played tackle, center, and guard during his career. Number 5. Randy Moss, Wide Receiver Moss is a big one. Often considered one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, there is no doubt he deserves a spot on this list. After the Minnesota Vikings selected him number 21 overall in the 1998 draft, Randy Moss wasted no time dominating the league. He collected 1,200-plus yards in each of his first six seasons, something no one else has ever even accomplished. During that span, he led the NFL in touchdown catches three times. By the age of 26, he'd already joined Jerry Rice as the only players with three 15-touchdown seasons in a career. Even now, Moss holds top five all-time rankings in both yards, 15,292, and touchdowns, 156. However, his two trips to the Super Bowl ended in disappointment. Moss played for the almost undefeated New England Patriots team in 2007, a season during which he posted an NFL record of 23 touchdowns, and the 2012 San Francisco 49ers, who lost to the New York Giants and Baltimore Ravens, respectively. Number 4. Anthony Munoz, Offensive Tackle Were it not for Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers, Anthony Munoz could have had a ring or two. His Cincinnati Bengals lost to San Francisco in both Super Bowl appearances. He was first drafted into the league back in 1980, but never looked back. He was an offensive tackle for 13 seasons with the Cincinnati Bengals and is widely considered to be one of the greatest offensive linemen in NFL history. Nevertheless, the left tackle achieved excellence in a 13-year career. Munoz earned 9 All-Pro honors and 11 straight Pro Bowl nods from 1981 to 1991, and he started 184 games with Cincinnati. He even caught four touchdowns for the Bengals. He was first drafted into the league back in 1980, but never looked back. Number 3. Bruce Smith, Defensive End Even the greatest lineman had trouble with Bruce Smith. I know that I was in for a battle, and then Monday morning, I felt it. Anthony Munoz said of his matchups with Smith, Every single play, you couldn't take a play off. The guy was amazing. Smith played a pivotal role in the Buffalo Bills, reaching four straight Super Bowls during the early 1990s. Although they fell painfully short of winning a ring, Buffalo showcased one of the greatest talents in NFL history with the Hall of Famer. Overall, he notched 13 seasons of double-digit sacks and earned two Defensive Player of the Year awards, eight All-Pro honors, and 11 Pro Bowls. He's the only player in NFL history to amass 200 sacks. Number 2. Dan Marino, Quarterback Dan Marino is a good reminder that just because a player is young and in the Super Bowl, he's not guaranteed to get back for another chance. Only in the 1984 season did Marino, then in his second year, and the Miami Dolphins play on the sport's biggest stage, and it ended with a 38-16 loss to Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers. During his 17-year career, the Dolphins managed just two other trips to the AFC Championship game. I'd trade every record we broke to be Super Bowl champs, Marino told ESPN's Larry Schwartz when looking back at his career. While that is understandable, Marino quite literally changed the sport. Upon his retirement, he had nearly 10,000 more passing yards than anyone in NFL history and the most touchdown passes by 78. Through the 2019 season, both are still number 5 all time. Number 1. Barry Sanders, Running Back With much deliberation, Sanders takes the top spot on our list. Essentially the king of stats, Barry doesn't need any fancy Super Bowl rings to prove he's an absolute football legend. The running back never totaled fewer than 1,100 rushing yards in a season, and the only time he didn't surpass 1,300 came in an injury-shortened 1993 campaign. He abruptly retired after the 1998 season with the second most rushing yards in NFL history. The most elusive running back the league had ever watched, Sanders had tired of the Detroit Lions failing to build a contender. He later explained in his 2003 autobiography the frustration that led to his decision. Detroit made it to the playoffs in five of Sanders' ten seasons, but dropped four wildcard games and advanced to the NFC Championship game only once. And that's all we got. Did we miss anyone? Let us know your top ten Never Super Bowl players in the comments below. And as always, be sure to hit that like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe. This has been our breakdown of the top ten greatest NFL players that have never won a Super Bowl. Have a good one.